going guys? Welcome back to another wildlife photography vlog here. As you can see, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. It is a balmy 70 degrees out here. And it's finally beginning to feel like spring here at LBL. And um, it feels amazing. This is the first time this year that I've been outside in shorts and a t-shirt. And um, I forgot how great it felt. Um, so this is awesome. It started to feel like spring. You know, we're finally starting to see some growth of, uh, you know, green grass and flowers and uh, the first semblances of uh, leaves on the trees so it's starting to look good and um, spring is really kicking in here and um, we're back with another wildlife photography vlog i'm out here at um honker lake right now shooting not really too much out here i was hoping to maybe see some uh, nesting ospreys coming in with the coming spring but i guess i'm a little too hopeful here it might be a little early for that but um you know you never know so i came out here and checked not seeing anything, but um, I did see some deer on the way in, and I think I got a couple of good photos maybe of them and some really nice lighting, um, so I'll throw those up if those turned out right now. And so there are those guys, and um, yeah, with that, we are getting into this vlog, guys. This is the start of the vlog. Um, like I said, out here at Honker Lake, just doing a little bit of photography or looking for stuff to photograph, not even really getting to shoot much. Um, and looks like we're getting a great start to spring here. This is the first real day that it's actually felt like spring. So um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. And um, with that guys, I'm gonna see what else I can find. Probably gonna leave here because it really doesn't look like there's anything to shoot here. Um, so I'll let you guys know, keep you posted on what I find. But um, yeah, start to a pretty great evening and what will hopefully be a pretty great vlog here. Alright guys, so as you saw there, um, we just got into LBL, into the Elk and Bison Prairie, and almost immediately saw some elk, and I think that I got some pretty decent shots there with some golden light on them. Uh, a little too cluttered in that area in the forest, but um, I still think that I was able to simplify it a little bit by blowing out the background as much as I could. And um, yeah, I think hopefully it got some pretty good shots in there with uh, some good golden lighting, catch light in the eye, all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to keep driving around here. Um, I've left them behind. They kind of got down into the trees and there was really no opportunities for good photographs. So I'm going to keep driving here and um, we'll see what else we can find around the loop. But um, yeah, pretty good start to the evening here and hopefully it's just going to get better from here. So as always, I will keep you guys posted. big bulls I'm trying to stay very quiet because I don't want to spook them and um I think I've been getting some pretty darn good shots of them so I'm gonna keep shooting them and then I'll close out tonight's segment of the vlog by showing you the shots that I got right now
guys, so it is now Friday evening and I am back out here at LBL. I'm actually at this little bay right now, as you can see, um, hoping that maybe, maybe we'll see some bald eagles here. We'll see. Um, I did find the one nest you'll remember a few weeks ago that um, hasn't proved to be very good so far, mainly just because the eagles, it's kind of just in a bad location. You can't photograph it. Um, and then I thought I'd found another nest, but I actually hadn't because um, they were uh, there were two bald eagles on it, but they were just kind of scavenging off of it. I found out later upon going back um, and taking sticks from it to wherever their nest is that I didn't find. But I was thinking this bay might be a good location. Um, so I'm going to walk around here, see what we can find. It's pretty nice overcast even lighting right now. So if we do find anything, that'll be good. Um, but basically just going to walk around here and see what I can find. Hopefully some eagles. If not, hopefully something else. And um, we'll be able to make some good photos today. So as always, I will keep you guys posted. Well, Cannon says that this camera and lens is weather sealed, but you know, I don't want to trust that with this amount of money. So um, rather than bringing my rain gear, I decided not to because I thought it wouldn't start raining like this. And now I've got my camera and lens wrapped up in my shirt here. Um, and they were already out in the rain for too long. I, I mean, you know, supposedly weather sealed, so they should be fine. But um, yeah, I could have just brought my rain cover instead for the camera. And uh, here is a lesson for this week's vlog. Be prepared and bring everything that you might need because I knew I might need it, but it was only drizzling when I started out. And uh, so I thought, you know, okay, probably won't need it. It'll be fine. I'm not going that far. I uh, went further than I thought and uh, the rain started coming down hard, as you can see now. I mean, I'm totally drenched practically at this point. Um, just mainly trying to keep the camera gear dry right now and get back to the truck. So uh, that was a mistake. There's the lesson for this week's vlog. Okay, back in the truck. And um, yeah, that was, I uh, just really messed up there. Should have brought all the gear that I might need with me um, out there. I didn't think I would end up going that far. And that's always the thing with wildlife photography. You really don't know what you're gonna see and how far you're gonna go. You know, you have those times where you think you're going 20 yards and you end up going two miles. Like it's, you don't know. So that this was one of those cases. I saw a great blue heron um right on out just a little bit farther and i was like you know what i'm gonna cross the bridge i'm gonna go for that i got really close but i didn't get any shots he flew away before i could i mean i got some of him far away didn't get any close shots but i was within probably 15 yards before he noticed me i was coming around the corner to try to photograph him because that was um i was that was basically what was concealing me from him seeing me before that was i was around the corner and kind of approached him from that direction um, but as soon as i poked around that corner to start shooting he took off and so I didn't really get any shots besides some far away ones. If those were any good, I'll throw those up right now and show you those. But essentially I went a lot farther than I'd planned on and then it started coming down pretty hard. And um, at that point I didn't have my rain cover from my camera, which I had should have brought. But again, I thought I wasn't going that far and um, I didn't have any rain gear for myself. So basically just in my hoodie getting soaked. And uh, it was raining a lot harder than it looked like it was raining in that clip that you just saw. I rewatched the clip. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's raining very hard. Trust me, it was coming down. Um, I'm basically, my entire everything is soaked. Like this hoodie should be lighter gray than it is. Um, so yeah, that, that didn't go well. Basically, moral of the story is bring all the gear that you may need because you never know when a situation like that's going to happen. You're going to go a little bit farther to try to get that shot and then here comes the rain and uh, you're in trouble and here's a heron look at that i'll be darned there goes a great blue heron right across the road that would have made for some awesome shots and i had no idea that it was there and that's just how it goes again with wildlife um sometimes it can be frustrating but um it's always rewarding when you get the shot so anyways i'm gonna keep looking for some wildlife guys uh, i'm gonna head on from here Hopefully before it gets totally dark out, I can find some more. And I do want to briefly mention before I move on that I am doing a giveaway to go down to Florida and swim with wild manatees when I hit a thousand subscribers. It'll be totally paid for for free. All you have to do is be a subscriber to do that. So subscribe for that if you're interested. And um, yeah, let's get back to it and go look for some more wildlife. All right, guys so i drove around a little bit more as you saw there and i um, really didn't find anything it was absolutely pouring rain and i really didn't want to risk my luck um, taking the equipment out in the rain again I don't want to risk anything until i actually have my rain cover with me and can cover it up and all that stuff so um, with that guys 
that is going to be all for the photography today, and that is going to be all for this vlog. I think it's been a pretty successful one despite today being lackluster. You know, we got the elk shots this week that I think were pretty good. Um, got some pretty good geese shots. And overall, I think it's been a somewhat successful vlog. So with that, guys, that's going to be the end of this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have stuck around to this point, please do not forget to like and comment down below. Let me know what you all thought. And most importantly, as always, please do not forget to subscribe to be entered for the 1,000 subscriber Manatee Swim giveaway video. And with that, thank you all again for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Yeah.